Well, we was right. We definitely got a big flow going on here. If you want to look at the, these bees are working this Japanese knotweed. This whole bush is just buzzing. I mean, it's it's crazy. Uh, this is great. I mean, this is this will really help them for the winter. Exactly what we was wanting. You see, uh, we got knotweed here. All up through here is knotweed. Over here is Japanese knotweed. We'll walk over here and look. Make sure I don't step on a big snake here. Yep, they're working it as well. Like I said, I've never been around this stuff as far as honey. They say it's a real dark honey. I don't know. We'll go up and look at this one as well. They're really working it so far. Some of it's blooming. Some of it's starting to bloom. Lots of it. Lots of knotweed. I see bees back in there. But the majority seems to be down here at this first patch. You can actually just hear the bees in here buzzing. Just a roar. You can see they're, they're definitely working it. Now, where is this in conjunction to my hives? Well, I'll show you. Here is the knotweed. You look way back behind that bamboo. Hopefully you can see my my hives over there. So that's what they're doing. We got us a nectar flow going on, guys. So we'll just see what happens. Uh, welcome back. This is uh, Tim, the Boone County Beekeeper. Today is Saturday. It is uh, August the uh, 27th. And you're going to have a lot of road noise here. They're paving the main road out here from me. Got a lot of asphalt trucks backing up and down the road here. So hopefully we can get through that. Now, today, I'll be honest, I was not planning on getting in these hives at all. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, we got another week to go on our apivar. Um, I was just going to feed them today and be done with it. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, this is something to remember about beekeeping. When you have uh, some colonies, be sure to sit down and devise you a, a real good plan. A plan that you want to follow. And when you get that plan wrote down or, or in your mind... Probably the best thing to do is just throw it out the window because it's not going to work. So, I don't know if you can see right here, but I come up here yesterday. Man, we have got a major flow happening. Uh, it's just Japanese knotweed. Now, like I said, I've never been around it as far as bees. You know, I, I, don't, I don't have it down there where my house is at. Loads of it here. It is in full bloom, and I'm telling you, these bees, yesterday and today... They look like missiles coming in out of here. So I got home last night, got worried about this box here and this box right here. I'm worried that if I don't get another box on there, they're going to plug up because uh, I'm not been in this box for a while, but I'm sure it's probably as much as feed as they've been taking. I'm sure this box and this blue one over here, I'm sure they're pretty much full. So, uh, I'm going to have to give them some space. Now, I hate to, to do this, but what I'm going to do is this box and this box, I'm going to go ahead and it's a week early, 
But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the Apivar strips out and I'm going to go ahead and put another uh, super on them. I don't know what else to do. Uh, I sent, uh, yesterday I actually sent Bruce Jenna an email, got his thoughts on it, and we, we emailed back and forth a little bit, and he he agreed. Uh, you know, it says to wait two weeks after you pull the strips out to add honey supers, but if you read on it, you know, when you get down towards the end, it's got a diminished amount of uh, material on there that, that's uh, Amitraz, so. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I mean, I, I gotta do something. Uh, I gotta put put something on here because these girls are gonna get plugged up. Man, they're flying like crazy. Uh, that's gonna be my plan today is add a box here and to this other one. Now to this box here and Blondie, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some mix and matching. I'm gonna take some stuff out of here and I'm not gonna film that, but I'm gonna take some stuff out of here. This is a fairly strong hive, but not one of my strongest. Uh, I'm gonna take some out of here give the blondie uh get some empties out of blondie put into here so that way they'll have space because they're flying real well too i don't know how long this japanese knotweed how long it'll last uh, i'm gonna say a week or two but this will get me by until we can see what happens with it i, I don't know because i've not been around it so anxious to see what it does and i'll be honest if i can get a frame or two that's capped I'm going to spin it out and try it. I'm going to see what it tastes like. I don't know. They say it's a real dark honey. I don't know. If it ain't no good, I'll just mix it in with my feed and feed it back to the girls here. That's, that's all I know to do. But uh, It's about all oh, 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the day. A uh, little overcast. It's been sunny. It rained last night. A uh, beautiful day yesterday. Uh, sunny now. I see a, a lot of clouds. Uh, big white puffy clouds. So... They're coming and going, these bees are. Uh, it seemed to be a little heavier yesterday, about three o'clock. So, I know the last time, two times that I got in these girls right here, they eat me alive. So, today I'm gonna try to get in a lot of smoke, and I even brought me a pair of bib overalls. If they get too rowdy, I'll go over and put those things on over top of these jeans that I got. So, I don't know, let's see what we got. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the feeders off and uh i'll set the feeders down here and uh i need to clean them up anyway so what i'll do is i'll just I'll pull them off and at the end i'll shake what bees is on the bottom back in the box and then i'll set the empty feeder out here let them go back in and uh one thing i didn't bring i just happened to think i did not bring an inner cover but i'm not going to worry about it i'll be back here uh middle of the week so if we get any comb built up there I'll just have to deal with it. I uh, don't think I have anything here, so. I actually could put that feeder, I guess, back on. I may do that, put the feeder back on and use that as an inner cover. It'd be pretty tall, but that'll work. So that may be what I'll do. Now, they have drunk. Now see, that shows you that there's a flow going on right there because uh, what these girls usually do in just a couple days, man, they have sucked this uh, down completely down and it's uh, they got bees in the feeder right now but still have a little bit left in the feeder so uh you can definitely tell there's a flow happening now <laughs> these girls get a little rowdy i have to say and i hope that they're good today and they're already bowling out of there so we'll see hopefully they'll be okay today but i don't care a bit to smoke them i don't smoke them like I said until the rise water I just want to get down and get that uh, strips pulled out of there and we'll see what happens we've got a lot of bees in there guys so see what happens we'll uh, pull that off and uh, I'll go through this box later and we'll just pull them strips out get this box back on oh man it's a yeah I can tell you right now it's full because Definitely a heavy box. Definitely a heavy box, guys. Give him a little puff of smoke. That's what I was worried about. This this box seems like it's full. We'll check on it here in a minute. Man, that's a heavy box. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they should be in real good shape for winter. Real good shape. So, see what happens. 
And I hate to pull this safety bar out a week early, but I'm going to. Uh, you know, this mic count here was low. Pretty much everything I had was low, and uh, except this box right here, uh, it was almost two percent. But we'll we'll go from there and see what happens. All right, so uh, let's put this box back on. We got the ape of R out. Oh man, that is a heavy box. Oh, look at that, ladies. We'll pull a few of the frames out and see if I was right. I can already tell I was right. I definitely had to give them some space because definitely would plug up so let's see what they look like here for winter we'll leave every bit of this on for winter man these old girls now they've they've done pretty good now they have i'll show you just a couple of these yeah look here that is completely full of nectar they're eating my hands up completely full of nectar uh working on capping it that's great. That's what we wanted to see. I knew it was going to be like that. Uh, ain't no need pulling more out. Every every last one is just like that. So what we'll do is this. Get this back on. You know what? We'll put them in a box right here. That'll give them some time to come up and some space to see what's going on here. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to put nine in this one. I'm honest. We have a pretty good week of flow. That's all drawn comb. Them girls liable. Fill this box up. Never know. But we'll see. All right, so I got my spacer. There's my spacer. See what happens. Okay, here's a nine. Right here. Okay. So right there we are. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to make sure there's nothing in that feeder. There's a little bit there. I'm going to dump it out. So now it's empty. I'll just put this one back on. We'll use that for an inner cover. That's what we'll do. Since I've Forgot to bring mine. Plenty of bees in here. I'll just dump them right here. All right, they're on the ground. So now, them girls have got some space. That's what we wanted to say. They're ready. So let's jump over real quick and check on this other one. Uh, see where we're at on it now I'm gonna pause just for a minute I'm gonna leave it running but I'll, I'll trim it out I got to go over by the four-wheeler and get the other box so I'll be right back all right guys I'm back so uh, we was right definitely on that one there uh, they would not made it another week man they was jam-packed full now they got nine empty drone combs on there so maybe they'll make us some uh make us a little japanese knotweed honey this week we'll see don't know so i'm gonna do the same thing to this one we'll uh pull the uh pull the feeder off see how they've done and go from there this uh, is a swarm now, this one is completely empty this is a swarm that i caught down at the uh, cemetery where my mom is buried and uh, man they've been a real good colony they get a little agitated too at times i think it's just the time of the year but uh i'll tell you they've they've grown a lot we'll see how they look uh, a lot of bees in here get them smoked down real good a lot of bees in there i've got a feeling they're probably pretty full as well we'll see now queen in this one is a real striped looking queen very hard to find her uh, now these are got a lot of honey in them don't look like they are as full but they are pretty full we'll do the same though 
man, they've got it glued down. Give them a little smoke. Still, uh, get them smoked down good. That's a good thing about a flow. It kind of takes their mind off of you. I'm not saying I won't get stung today. See how much weight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one's heavy too, guys. Really heavy. Okay. So I definitely think we did the right thing on both of these. Uh, like I said, low mic counts on both. So I'm not really worried about it. I'm going to hit them real hard with oxalic acid some more here coming up. But uh, I see a lot of a lot of capped honey just looking down in there. So that's good. So we'll uh, put a box on these girls too. Smoke them down. Don't want to kill anybody and a lot of people over super and under super you talk to 10 different beekeepers you'll get 12 different answers but I generally under super but in this situation here I'm gonna go ahead and just stick one on top and give them some space let's pull this second from the end see what we got here oh yeah it's I'll come around, it's full of nectar. Man, it's, these girls are set up for winter now. They'll, uh, if you can see it, it's a lot of nectar in there, so they're definitely set up. They're gonna be in good shape. I'll continue to feed after this flow gets off, but I will probably slow down some. But we'll see what happens, so. Let's go ahead and stick an empty box on there as well. And that'll give them some room. Now my long hive over there. What I'm going to do to them today. I'm going to go through them real good. And then I'm going to do a. Uh, I'm going to give them a, a few extra frames. Uh, they've got some room. But man they're, they're strong guys. They are strong. So. These should make some good fat frames right here. And again, like I said, I forgot to bring my my inner covers. So get this on here right. And we'll just put that feeder on and use that as the inner cover. No no uh, no feed in there. So I come back, I'll I'll bring my inner cover. So there's that. Alright guys, so Listen, like I tell you, you come up with a plan, but <laughs> nine times out of ten, that plan is going to change. Uh, yesterday I did uh, take a little video of the uh, of the knot uh, knot weed over there and the bees on them and. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll link it, hope, probably at the beginning of this video, maybe the end, I don't know. See how we do when we edit it. But, and, like I said, wasn't really planning on doing a video this week, but thought I'd go ahead and film this. Got to do something, guys, because uh, things are happening. Now, I know I got some room in here. This is Blondie. Guarantee you I got some room here. So, probably got a lot of full frames in this next one here between this one and the last one and I'm gonna go ahead and do some swapping around and I'm not gonna film that but that's what I'm gonna do on the rest of it and I will film the long hive and it'll be out this winter uh, on the uh, the series that we got on it so guys just something short and sweet today Listen. hey guys uh, I'm back um, I'm here at home now uh, want to give you a little update of what happened there the uh, the camera shut off i've got a brand new camera just got it this week it's a, a, Gro a gopro 10 and uh, apparently that may be an issue it shut down it says due to uh, high temperature so i have been seeing some things online i hope that's not a problem going forward we'll just have to, to see what happens but uh, just to recap you know uh I'm real pleased what i saw there today uh, these girls, as you can see right here, they're, uh, man, they're bringing it in. And uh, the flow is real heavy right now. Uh, those boxes were full. Uh, you saw what I did there. I put uh, some empty foundation uh, with drawn comb 
on two of my strongest hives. I took Blondie, I took five frames out of her and swapped out five full over the one that I brought from the house. Uh, they're pretty strong, so uh, I think they'll be fine. I know they'll finish filling them out. Blondie, you know, I don't know, the jury's still out on her. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But uh, I feel real confident uh, going into winter, you know, we put on some pretty good weight there. I think everything will be fine. So uh, I just wanted to get on here and just say thank you, you know, to everybody that, uh, that watches these videos, uh, everybody that has liked, uh, everybody that has subscribed to the channel. I appreciate that. I really do. Uh, all the wonderful comments, you know, you just don't know what it means, guys. And uh, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I really do thank you. So. Uh, that's about all we have today. Next week, uh, we'll get in there, we'll take our Apivar out on the other uh, three uh, colonies, well, other two colonies. I have another week to go on the one that I brought from the house here. So we'll take two out next week. Uh, we wanna go through the hives real good next week. We wanna make sure everything's queen right, uh, everything's uh, looking good, the queen's laying good. I will say this, on the long hive, I did find a bunch of cells in there, which is only practice cells. Uh, I'll probably go through there next week real good, frame by frame, and tear all those out. Uh, I did see a lot of eggs and larvae, so I mean, she's still there, she's doing good. That's a young queen, uh, this year's queen. She's, uh, she's really done well. But guys, until next time, this is Tim. Uh, I just want to say God bless you, and God bless your family. Uh, thank you once again from the bottom of my heart for, for everything that you, you do, you know, watching these videos. Uh, for the wonderful comments that you've made. It means a lot, guys. It surely does. And uh, until next time, guys, uh, just take care of yourself and God bless you. Uh, this is Tim with the Boone County Beekeeper. Thanks for stopping by.